guys. So we're back today with the Art the Clown. So this is the 1-6 scale Art the Clown figure from Trick or Treat Studios. I picked this up last summer and I set it aside meaning to show you guys and I completely forgot about this item. So <laughs> it has not even been opened yet, but this is not the bloody variant. Let me just say though really quick, I love the magnetic closure that it has here. That is amazing. I wish like NECA boxes would do this because the Velcro, you know, always comes undone and unglued and I hate that. I'm always scared to open mine. So here's the back of this and I love the way this thing looks. The packaging on this one is just so good. There's the side and I'm super excited to finally open him. All right, you guys, let's get him open. So I had to change out his hand really quick so you could really see what he looks like. Um, I love this. I'm going to display him like that. So there's this little hacksaw <laughs> and his little bloody hands. They're so cute the, with the little gloves on there. I love how that is. Um, so one thing right away, his face is kind of sparkly. Um, I don't know if my camera's going to pick that up or not, but it definitely has a shimmer to it. Kind of like a pearl. Um, maybe it's supposed to look like sweat. And I guess it does, you know, but it's very shiny. So I wish that you guys could see that. Um, the little details, just the paint on him, everything looks amazing. But his little cap here and his hat, they do not come off. It's almost like a flat white, whereas when it meets this, it's very shiny. Um, it looks great. It really does. His teeth are really wet looking as well. They're like bloody and kind of yellowy. <laughs> And just nasty looking. I love that. Another thing that I noticed right away was like his little, look at how his, can y'all see the zipper? That took me off guard. Usually we get like the little snap buttons when it comes to clothes on any kind of figures at all. Even Barbies or anything, they're like snap. They're, they're hardly ever zippers. So that took me off guard right away. And another thing is how much he moves. It's amazing. I was not expecting him to have so much movement. So his torso moves. He moves a lot. He's got his head that moves, his shoulders, his elbows, his hands. All that moves along with his hips, his knees, his ankles. I mean, everything. He's very limber, like... <laughs> He could do the splits almost. It's it's insane how much this guy moves. It's crazy. So that is amazing. I don't think I have one quite like this that does all that. But I think my favorite feature about this guy is the shoes. So they're very like oversized clown shoes, but they just look amazing. They're just, I don't know. Look at that. <laughs> I promise he looks so much better in person. But uh, the shoes are just, I love that. Small touches sometimes are amazing. So anyway, he didn't come with a stand. So I'm going to have to be going to Hobby Lobby and buying my own stand for him. Um, I believe you can pick them up at Hobby Lobby, little metal stands for like $2. Um, I get the little bit bigger ones to do all my other dolls over here. So he's my first of this size. But he also came with two extra hands. One I just put on with his hacksaw. But... Here is just like a regular one here, nice and bloody. And then we have one that has this, what is this, scalpel? <laughs> looks like a scalpel. So that's how that looks. All right, you guys, so I am just in love with this guy. He looks amazing, and I'm super excited to get to add him to the collection behind me. Um, I completely forgot about him. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.